Alright, what's up everyone? I'm back here again. And it seems that my last video did not seem to have a good responses. At least from the like and dislike ratio, 33%. To be fair, I think it's because originally I titled it Texas Karen Goes Off at uh, Trader Joe's. I'm pretty sure everyone thought it would be a freakout video. But then they saw some stupid dude commenting on it. It was like, ah, nah, I ain't watching this. Dislike instantly. And then the moment I changed the title, I managed to get at least one like. Nice. Either that or I'm just simply just unlikable. I probably am unlikable. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, anyway. But there's this one comment I found on my video. Post his name, address, and email for the world to see. You think I'm trying to start a witch hunt? No, I'm not trying to do that at all. Like, at the end of the day, he's just a person. The most mature thing to do is just leave him alone. Then again, this person's a kid. What's sad is that this comment has more likes than the video itself. <laughs> but, hey, whatever it is what it is, I guess that ain't stopping me. I'll just continue making these videos for my six subscribers. So one day I got bored on YouTube and I started looking from National Geographic channels on YouTube to world history to softcore porn to road rages. Not road rages like in America. Road rages in Canada. So this video starts in friendly Manitoba. I didn't think road rages like this could happen in Canada once again. But yeah, it happens in friendly Manitoba. And all of a sudden, when this lady tries to turn, ends up slightly in someone else's lane, like from the opposite way, this guy gets mad and starts turning and starts chasing this lady right here. To be honest, I saw the video and it's like not that visible. What do you mean by not that visible? I mean like the snow's mainly covering the road. Like you can barely see the lining and then all the other stuff but honestly i'll stop with my talking for now and let's watch the video we have some shocking video to show you now all right this is coming from a guy that can barely even speak from mind to mouth but when she says we have some shocking video it doesn't really sound shocking like too shocking like if you say like we have a shocking video to show you now then it kind of makes more sense now i'm starting to think what's the reason why they decided to cover this because road rages happen every day well then again unless you're in canada but okay i gotta stop with the stereotypes she then goes explains that um the lady's now terrified to start driving again which i don't blame her like i'll show the footage now from here because it is really rough like these psychopaths can't be on the road but yeah here you go violent road rage hey. and a cry for help back up stop stop get his follow, license plate follow me follow me please follow me get at that back. moment in time i truly believed that my life was in danger and that someone was trying to kill me and all that i knew is that i had to get away i'm sorry to say this i'm sorry if i sound insensitive but Based on her body language and the way she speaks, I already don't like her. Like, she sounds like one of those basic bitches that probably maybe plays a victim. Something tells me there's two sides to this story. She might have done something. If I said that before, well, I'm saying it again. But I feel like maybe she has done something. Because in the video, she sounds like she's saying, follow me, follow me. Follow me, follow me, please, follow me. Yeah, go ahead, follow me. We'll see, we'll see what happens. He followed me came up beside me, attempted to run me off the road, spinning out my vehicle. Like, I'll admit, this is, in a way, a shocking video, but at the same time, no, because at the same time, there's, like, a lot of psychopaths like these in, in, on this planet right now. But, I mean, yeah, but this video continues with this guy after that incident in the intersection. This guy starts chasing her for 10 minutes. Honestly, it's, it's pretty crazy stuff. Like, I don't blame her, because if I was in that incident, too, I'd be scared to drive. One time, I was in an accident during the snow season. I was also scared to drive in the snow for a little a while but honestly yeah it's not that big of a deal but on in her situation that seems big of a deal i'd be scared to drive like for like a year or two maybe even five but to be honest like this is why some people cannot have a driver's license or they need to make the requirements of getting a driver's license more strict because it's it's like skyrim out here man but i know the situation is kind of different mainly because this takes place in canada and i live in the u.s so I don't know the requirements of getting a driver's license in Canada. I don't know if it's the same thing or not as in America because honestly the difference between the United States and Canada is like the difference between Russia and Kazakhstan, the UK and Ireland, Australia and New Zealand. The driver, relentless in his 10 minute pursuit. Joe Bo's father in the passenger seat, capturing part of it on his phone. You guys tried to kill us. Winnipeg police say the driver will be charged with dangerous operation of a vehicle. Jobo thinks he should be charged with attempted murder, 
and wants to know what fueled his rage. But I agree that he should be charged with attempted murder as well as dangerous operation of a vehicle because trying to push someone off the road like that, that just shows that you want the person dead. Like pushing someone off the road into like a hill, into a ditch. You know how car crashes usually end up, right? Including like the dangerous ones, the one cars go head on 50 miles per hour. Yeah, that's pretty much murder right there. And but here's the thing that pisses me off about this video. Look what this girl has to say next. The first question in my mind was, was this race related? Was this race, was this, motiv was this racially motivated? <sighs> What the fuck did I just hear? Yes, apparently everything's racially motivated now these days. Like, oh, I see an Asian girl in this freaking car. Let me go attack her and kill her and run her off the street. Like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm pretty sure in a road race like this in the heat in the moment, I'm pretty sure, like, the last thing you'll see is, the, like, the person chinky eyes in the freaking car. Like, you won't even notice that because most of the windows are tinted anyway. This guy was just got pissed because someone called him out with the horn and then started running off. Just wanted to teach this person a lesson i'm pretty sure this wasn't race related like what the fuck the only thing that's race related is like racing to who gets into the ditch first but to be honest either way this guy had no right to go around and chase her and then knock her off the road because at the end of the day the chance of you seeing that car again is like almost none and if you do see that car again chances are it's a still a different person anyway but looking back at the video the road seems clearer than i once thought it was the guy had the right to honk because she was right kind of in her lane like you don't do that like you got a lot of space i saw the intersection so she got like pretty freaking mad at the other guy like why the fuck are you honking or at least that's what i assume if I, I could look in the comments some of the comments say that this girl went off and then started to play the victim on the news which is to be honest you have the right to I'll, I'll be honest, but I think you overkilled it right on live television. Especially the fact that you had to pull the race card against that dude. But now looking back in the video when she screamed, follow me, follow me, I think now that I think about it, maybe she was panicking, maybe not. Like, I don't know the whole context completely of this video, but at the same time, I just want to get my thoughts from it. But I think I'm being a bit too insensitive that she kind of like... Actually, I don't even know at this point. God damn it. What is the world? But anyway, let's just look at the comments. Apparently, looking more in depth in the comments, she apparently has a long list of driving offenses, or at least a driving offense. Me thinking the same thing, she definitely flipped her off and caused this. And the guy says, she has a very long list of driving offenses. Continues to say, she hit and ran my vehicle about a year and a half ago, driving home from work. So I gave a chase while on the phone to police. I was able to ID her. They told me they know her. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Like, not gonna lie. Based on the vibe that she's giving in this newscast i already know like it's so shady and all i, I want to know what she's like behind the scenes basically in short i think she's like up to no good in general like i can't completely put my finger on it but there's something about her that makes my freaking spine tingle it's like meeting king bradley for the first time and then you realize he's a homunculus now that i think about it i don't think these two people should be able to have a license like a person with a long driving record and another person who's mentally unfit to drive as well like those two don't go together you need a there needs to be like extra steps in, during the driving exam especially in canada i don't know why I'm I'm assuming if this is the United States, even though this is in Winnipeg. At this point, this video is going to be completely disorganized, but the fact that, if it is true, the fact that she flipped that guy off in her dad's car, like, Jesus Christ, dude, what is the dad doing? Honestly, if I flipped someone off while my mom or dad is in my car, I would get my ass beaten at home, even if I'm 21. And now to think about it, again, I don't think this is a shocking video. Road rages happen every day. Even something like this, it's kind of like you're n-word moment from the boondocks i ain't gonna say that word because i'm not black but yeah it's like your n-word moment from the boondocks which is basically perpetual conflicts between uh yeah over trivial or ignorant things however oh uh, yeah can also create bonds with each other and also based on it also based on ink well, people might might be friends in, in court at the end of the day. We'll see. Well, I guess that's a wrap for today. And no, I'm not going to leak anyone's information. No, that that's just simply not right. Because either way, if I do, especially linking back to the last video I made, I know better than the other guy, to be honest. And the way that I just, like, made this video, I might as well just read off a script at this point. Because I noticed while editing back at this video, I noticed that I was repeating, to be honest, or honestly, a lot. Like, it just gets annoying. Like, even I get annoyed. It gets annoying to the point where I might as well dislike my own video too. Okay, but if you enjoyed the video, just give it a like and 
subscribe because I'm trying to grow myself here. And if you didn't like it, I guess tell me some ways that I could improve. And yeah, I'll guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.